Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice differential equation. We have y prime plus y equals x squared times e to the power x, and we're going to be solving for y. Now, this is a non-homogeneous equation because we have a non-zero expression, a function of x on the right-hand side. But to solve this problem, we're also going to consider solutions to the homogeneous case, which is y x squared e to the x replaced by zero. So we're going to start by solving the homogeneous corresponding equation, which is this one, y prime plus y equals zero. Why? Because that's how you find the general solution. You find the homogeneous solution, you find a particular solution, and then you put it together, you add them up to get the general solution. Okay? And obviously, any solution to the homogeneous equation will definitely satisfy the non-homogeneous case, right? Or is it the other way around? Anyways, let's get into it. So to be able to solve this problem, I'm going to consider a function or a solution of the form y equals e to the power rx. Here, r represents a root of our characteristic equation. But if you plug this in, you're going to get for y prime, it's going to be r e to the rx from chain rule, r e to the rx plus e to the rx equals zero. And then this becomes e to the rx multiplied by r plus one equals zero. And obviously this is not going to be zero even when x is complex. So r plus one has to be zero. This is what I mean by the characteristic equation. You could directly write it from here by using the differential operator dx on y plus 1. This means differentiate, and this just means the same thing, right? Actually, that's not right. I should probably <laughs> write it a little differently. So what I mean is dx on y, and then we just add. Okay, let me write it correctly. So it's kind of d plus 1 acting on y, so that this means differentiate y, and this just means the y itself. Makes sense? So this produces y prime plus y, but you can see from here d plus 1, even though d is the operator, you can, by setting it equal to 0 or replacing it with r, uh, you get the exact same characteristic equation. Does that make sense? I hope it does. From here, we get r equals negative 1, which implies that y equals r e to the power rx, which is e to the power negative x, a solution. So this is a particular solution, but to exp actually, no, I'm, I shouldn't say that. It, this is the homogeneous solution, so yh, but to be able to write in a more general case, I'm going to use a constant c sub 1 times e to the negative x, because if e to the negative x is a solution, c sub 1 times e to the negative x is definitely a solution too, because it doesn't change the characteristic equation, okay? So we got the homogeneous solution, which was the easiest part. Let's go ahead and do the harder part, which is finding the particular solution. How do you find a particular solution in this case? You know, with homogeneous and non-homogeneous equations, you basically try to guess what kind of function you're going to have. So for example, if you were given something like y prime plus y equals, you know, x squared, then you could say for the particular solution, hey, I'm expecting to get something like x squared plus bx plus c for my y sub p, which is particular solution. And then by plugging it in, you know, uh, you could find the values of a, b, c, and this would be fairly easy because the result is simple. Guessing a form would be also simple. But with the case of this, like something like x squared e to the x, it's really hard to know what is going on. So instead of that, we're going to use a different method called variation of parameters okay so variation of parameters is a really cool method for uh, you to be used with non-homogeneous equations especially for these kinds of equations where a uh, solution wouldn't be that hard sometimes uh, the solution comes as an integral and if you can't integrate that easily the solution will be in the form of an integral okay but in this case don't worry things are gonna simplify very nicely Okay, let's get to work. So how do we set up our solution? So here's what we do. We go and look back at the homogeneous solution, e to the power negative x. And notice that it's accompanied by a constant, c sub 1. So here's a very easy, quick way to 
come up with the particular solution. Instead of the constant, you just use a function of x. And let's just call that v. Okay, so v is a function of x. I just don't want to write the v, uh, v of x because that kind of looks confusing. And instead of multiplying e to the negative x by a constant, I'm going to multiply it by a function. A function such that when I plug it in, it's going to satisfy my equation. Make sense? So hopefully that function will be easily found. So this is my y. Even though it says particular, it's just a solution to the equation. And we can go ahead and plug it in. I have y prime plus y equals x squared e to the x. And so from here, if y is equal to v e to the negative x, what is y prime going to be? Think about it. v is a function, not a constant. So you kind of have to think about the product rule, the derivative of the first function times the second, plus the derivative of the second, which is negative e to the negative x times the first function. There you go. This is v. I mean y, this is y prime, and guess what? We're gonna go ahead and plug those in here, in a different order, of course, like this. Let's do it. y prime is v prime e to the negative x minus v e to the negative x, and then y is v e to the negative x equals x squared e to the x. Notice that v, to the, v times e to the negative x cancels out, which is super duper nice. That's why this equation is nice. And then v prime e to the negative x equals x squared e to the x. What am I supposed to do to solve for v? First, isolate v prime, multiply both sides by e to the x. And that's going to give you 1 here. v prime is going to be x squared times e to the power 2x. Great. We found V prime, not V yet, but our goal is to solve for V because remember, our particular solution is expressed as V times e to the negative x. So we have to find V. Let's go for V, okay? V for vendetta or V for uh, the function, whatever. So how do you find V from here though? By integration, easy. V is the integral of this function because we're looking for a function whose derivative is equal to this. So that's integration. And of course, don't forget the dx. Otherwise, you're going to lose points, right? Professors are can be mean sometimes. Anyways, so how do we integrate this? Let's use the di method. Fairly easy. d means you're going to differentiate. i means you're going to integrate. Which one is going to vanish? x squared, differentiate, differentiate, and you'll get a 0. Awesome e to the negative x. You gotta be careful here. You're not differentiating. So by chain rule, if you were differentiating, you would get an extra 2 from the derivative of 2x. But this time you're gonna get a 1 half to undo the 2 that will come potentially from the 2x. Make sense? In other words, if you integrate e to the power 2x, you're gonna get 1 half e to the 2x. If you integrate it again, you're gonna get 1 half of 1 half, which is 1 fourth e to the 2x. And finally, 1 eighth e to the 2x. Make sense? And then the signs plus minus plus and then the connections and then you're all set. You see you kind of crisscross and then applesauce. So V is going to be we're going to multiply these two things. So it's going to be 1 half x squared e to the 2x and then we're going to multiply these two things minus 2 and 1 fourth is going to give me 1 half x e to the 2x and then finally 2 and 1 eighth is going to give me 1 fourth e to the power 2x and plus c, but let's put it all the way at the end. So this is my particular solution. No, this is just the v, okay? The infamous v that we were trying to find. But what is our particular solution? v multiplied by e to the negative x. Wow. So y particular is v e to the negative x by our assumption, remember? Variation of parameters. And then you're going to multiply everything by e to the negative x, so the power is going to, the exponents are going to be reduced to e to the x, right? It's going to be 1 half x squared e to the x minus 1 half x e to the x plus 1 fourth e to the x. Obviously, you can factor out some stuff, but I'm not going to deal with that. This is why particular, yay, we found the particular solution. Let's go ahead and put it together. Y general is going to be, I don't know, I should use a capital G or lowercase g, whatever. I'll use uppercase. I don't care. The uh, y homogeneous plus y particular. Yes. So a general solution is going to be, what is the homogeneous solution? Do you remember? C sub 1 e to the negative x. Remember, we replaced C sub 1 with v. And then that's how we got the particular solution plus 1 half 
x squared e to the x minus one half x e to the x plus one fourth e to the x plus the infamous c and that brings us to the end of this video well thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye